What's going on everybody? Welcome back to KDJ TV and welcome to a brand new YouTube series on this channel for MLB The Show 23. It is called How to Pitch With... dot 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 insert name of pitcher here. The goal of this series is just to help people become more comfortable pitching on the mound with maybe their favorite cards or maybe cards they think they should be good with but for some reason struggle. I consider myself... The luckiest... I'm just kidding. I consider myself a pretty good pitcher in Diamond Dynasty. I think I'm certainly better than a, a better pitcher than I am hitter. So, I will just humbly give you my tips on how I use certain pitchers. I'm not here to pretend that I'm the best pitcher on Earth. I'm not here to pretend this is the only way to pitch with these cards. Everybody pitches differently. Everybody has different strategies. If it works for you, don't change a thing. Keep doing what you're doing. But if you're struggling, or if you just want a little bit more insight as to how other people are doing it, I'm going to give you that info here. Now, for me, the point of this series is that I think gameplay uh, debuts don't actually give a ton of value. I think so often you only see the final pitch of an at-bat from a debut pitcher, and that doesn't really, anything, it doesn't really do anything, right? To tell you how to set up a hitter, or knock a hitter out, or anything like that, or pitch to contact. So I'm going to show you every pitch of every at-bat. You're not going to see me hitting. You're only going to see me pitching. We're going to be doing this first one in an event game. I'm not ready to play ranked just yet, but the goal of these will hopefully to be progressing to ranked, showing you guys how to pitch with a pitcher for four, five, six innings, and really just getting a handle on how pitches uh, work together and their relationships. So I hope you guys like this idea. If you do, or if you have any other pitchers you'd like to suggest that I do how-tos for, Please comment down below who those people are. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Let's go learn some stuff. All right, so as you guys can see, I am a big fan of this man, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, henceforth known as Yoshi, because I think that's fun to say. Yoshi, in 12.2 innings, were 3-2, and two, played some low-scoring event games with a 1.42 ERA, 17 strikeouts in 12 and two-thirds innings, a .55 whip. We've allowed seven hits in 44 total batters faced. Yoshi Yamamoto is not really a junk baller, but he is more, in my opinion, of a contact pitcher, at least as far as, like, video games go. In real life, it's probably not the case. But in this game, yes, even though I have more than a strikeout per inning, he's very much a soft contact pitcher. And why is that? Because if you use him correctly, again, this is just my opinion, his cutter and his splitter should induce a ton of ground balls. Your four-seamer, because it's a sneaky fast 97 with his really slow, deceptive windup, should get a lot of pop-ups. That's what we're shooting for. We're shooting for weak ground balls and pop-ups. You could try to pitch to strikeouts. If you get strikeouts, great. But what I enjoy about Yoshi is that if you throw his cutter away to a righty, be a lot of rollovers weekly to third and short. Same thing goes for the splitter if you play it off the fastball. It probably goes without saying here, but the key tunnel that we are focusing on is the four-seam cutter-splitter combination. Me, it's mostly four-seam cutter. I will mix the splitter in every now and again. The curveball is really strictly if I have a free swinger at the plate or if I'm trying to change the eye level and bury something really low. The two-seamer, we're really only going to use sparingly. He doesn't have great command of it, and it really doesn't move a ton, but the two-seamer is a good pitch that if he's on your four-seamer, you can lessen the velocity a little bit, maybe get him to chase and hit something in the dirt below the zone. You're not going to want to throw the two-seamer up in the zone, especially in the zone. If it's up and out, up and in, we can talk about it, but you're not going to want to throw it in the zone and up. Uh, things to note here. Fantastic control of his first three pitches. The control of the curveball is not great. It will hang. The control of the two-seamer, as I said, is bad, so we got to be careful. With the pitch breaks, everything breaks really well except that two-seam. The two-seam isn't horrible, but it certainly could be better. So the goal here, induce weak contact. When you guys are watching this gameplay, I'm going to do my best to walk you through every pitch, and I want us to focus more about the process, less about the result, right? Because if we're trying to induce a ground ball, and he squibs one up the middle for a single, yeah, he got a hit, but what I was trying to do worked, right? So just get that disclaimer out of the way. Let's hop into a game. I'll show you guys what I can do with Yoshi Yamamoto, and you let me know what you think about this card. All right, YouTube, as we're queuing into this game, just want I didn't say this before, we will be playing an events game. I'm not hopping into rank just yet. All of the stats that you saw in that previous screen were from events. So they're from All-Star. They're from a neutral park at Lone Depot. 
really controlled results, right? So that's what we're playing for right now. All right, it looks like we are the away team. So I'm going to take my hacks. You guys don't got to worry about that. Come back and watch me pitch in just a few minutes. All right, so we put a three spot on the board. Solo homer by Jeremy Pena, two run homer by Giancarlo Stanton. So let's see how we pitch here. Now, against lefties, we didn't really talk about lefties before. I like to start with the splitter away because I want to see if he's sitting fastball. All right, he took the pitch. Not a great pitch. Because everything here, we're trying to play off the fastball. The fastball for Yoshi is going to end up probably being his strikeout pitch. If you have a free swinger, maybe you'll get the strikeouts with the splitter. Maybe you'll get it with the cutter. But with the fastball, it's sneaky velocity. 97, 99 sometimes. So that's where you're going to want to run past people. All right, so he's kind of on that at 96. Let's see if we could spot a cutter here low and away. I like this as a pitch where maybe we could buy a free strike. We did. Okay. He's got good movement on that pitch. So now with two strikes, we haven't seen him anything down the middle of the plate. So let's see if we can get a splitter below the zone. Missed our spot. The key here is obviously hitting our spots. Let's try the fastball up and in. Like I said, to lefties or righties, this will be the bread and butter. Good eye. He's got a very good eye. And pinpoint is a pain so far this year. Let's just go right back again. Opposite corner, splitter, down on the zone. It hung, but he hit it softly because he was early on it. Boom. All right, one out. So that at-bat was not good. We missed a lot of our spots. In an ideal world, you're going to hit those spots. But notice what I did. Let's pause it really quickly. Notice what I did. I didn't repeat a single pitch. Generally speaking, especially with crafty pitchers, you're not going to want to do that. Do not repeat pitches. And we really didn't repeat locations. In very few instances will we repeat locations, right? That's the play. That's the play. You have to be smart. And you can't just, like, mindlessly smash buttons while you're pitching. All right, and we're back. So we have a righty hitter at the plate. We start with a cutter away. Nice. Okay, so he was early on that. Always look back at your swing timing down there in that corner all the way over that way. Swing timing was early. So I am going to repeat the pitch, but I'm going to throw it in a different spot. I'm going to throw it up. Okay, so now he overcorrected, waited too long. But that's kind of what I wanted. Because now that he's late in that location with that pitch... We're going to go fastball, hard, right up in that same spot. And it worked. See? Beautiful. That's exactly what we want to do. That cutter fastball tunnel is very, very important. If he's late on the cutter, your next pitch instantly should be the fastball. Don't even think about it. If he's late on that, you throw the harder pitch. All right, now we, now we know we've got a free swinger on our hands. So I'm going to actually, one of the rare instances, I'm going to throw a curveball here, and I'm going to see if he swings at it. He did. All right, so maybe we got a little lucky. Maybe we didn't get the best opponent to do this video for, but let's go fastball up and in. Good take. I'm going to try something a little funny here because our hitter doesn't have a great command of the zone. I'm going to do a front door cutter. Low it in. Okay, he was on that. That's a tricky pitch. You got to know your opponent. You're not going to want to throw that to a good hitter because they'll be on it. Let's just get a roll over here to the left side. Okay, that didn't work, so we're going to try it again here. Cut her away, roll over to the left side. That's what we're shooting for. Or a strikeout. Beautiful. Look, we got two strikeouts that inning because we changed the balance of the hitter. You can't just pipe, pipe fastballs. They're going to hit those. You got to be careful. Pick your pitches correctly. Location's important. All right, so we're back. We got another two runs. Jeremy Payne, a two-run bomb. And we're running low on stamina here. So this will probably be our last inning with Yoshi, last inning of the video. We're going to start again, as we always do, with a cutter. Now, it missed because we have no energy. Just a weird swing gets it out. Sometimes fluky things are going to happen. I'm not happy with that pitch, but I'm happy with the out. Um, again, guys, as ranked becomes a more viable option to play, we will do these, de not debuts, but these how-tos in ranked, right? Because we want to be able to show you guys more innings of how to pitch. So we started with the splitter away. He was early. I'm going to try the cutter. It's about the same speed, but it is going to move differently. He hit the crap out of it. Okay, so we learned something from that. He's adjusting to the cutters I'm throwing away. They will eventually pick up on it. So you have to get, uh, then start throwing different pitches, right? You can't sit in that spot. So we're going to go fastball, and we're going to go kind of right belt level. And all right, he got a hit on that. So maybe our opponent's starting to come alive a little bit. That's potentially a possibility. Low energy is not helping. Let's do something different, right? We haven't thrown the two-seamer yet. So let's start a two-seamer. It's got to be below the zone. This is going to be like a ground ball pitch for guys who don't have a great two-seamer. I'm actually going to throw it one more time, but I'm going to throw it in and up. 
Nice pitch. Good spot. Okay. Splitter. We're going to actually throw it inside. We usually don't do that, but it's going to drop from where that two-seam height was. They think it's a two-seam or a four-seam. You tunnel it, and so it goes below. Now we're going to do a pitch we haven't done yet. Up and away, top of the zone, cutter outside. It missed spot, but it was still a good enough pitch to get the strikeout. All right, I decided for the content that we're going to let Yoshi pitch until a problem arises. We're at 5 nothing. We got some wiggle room. Again, we're going to start with soft stuff away. Uh, my goal here is to get ground balls. Now, we really haven't gotten any yet, right? But the goal is to pitch to ground balls. That's what I want with Yoshi. Splitter missed because he has no energy. Let's see if we can paint the fastball away. Yeah, this might not be working anymore, chat. We'll see. Well, maybe we get this one batter out of him just to give you guys an idea. I want this cutter right there. Beautiful. And now, let's see if we can put a two-seamer right there, low and in. It's a pitch we haven't shown him yet. We missed the spot. No big deal. Fastball up and in. This, like I said, is probably always going to be your strikeout pitch. And he's under it. It's a weak fly ball. We went low in the zone so often there that... Raising his eye level, he wasn't ready for it. So he was under it, and we got weak contact like that. So that's that was a good result there. All right, how are we going to set up Ozzy Albies? Let's think about the at-bat now. Let's try to get him to run a little two-seam off the plate. Weak ground ball. Beautiful. That is what we want out of the two-seam. The goal is for him to think it's a four-seam. It's a tick slower. He's early. Rolls it over. That was perfect. The whole point of Yoshi... And his pitch mix is weak rollover contact. I cannot reiterate that enough. So people who try to pitch to strikeouts, they very often get burned. They will let up a lot of homers because they'll miss their spots. We're trying to just deceive. We're trying to throw junk. And we want swings. We might get swings and misses, but we want swings. The sooner you can accept that, I think the better pitcher you will be in this game. Now at 1 and 2, we haven't shown him this pitch truly above the zone. He'll probably spit on it, but we're going to give it a shot. Yeah, too high. Way too high. Um, let's see. As long as this doesn't hang, this might tie him up. It hung. Yeah, it hung. That's just because he's out of energy. No big deal. I Is that the first hit we've allowed? It might be the second. Either way, Yoshi's still looking good. I think we're okay here. Let's just get this last out, and we'll recap at the end. Ahmed Rosario... We're going to go four-seamer away. He's going to think it's a cutter. Nope, he's... Wa oh, boy. All right, he's waking up. Yoshi is out of energy. I'm going to give Yoshi one more batter. And we'll see. Cutter up and away. Great pitch. He actually hung with that pretty well, but it was out of the zone enough to get weak contact. Look at that. We pitched a shutout. Three-inning shutout. It wasn't beautiful. Your pitching plan will not always go according to plan. But know your pitcher. Don't just pump fastballs down the middle of the plate. It's okay to miss and throw some balls. It's okay to just experiment a little bit. But know what your pitcher's good at doing. Yoshi, he's good at ground balls. Someone like Randy Johnson, he's got outlier. You're going to want to throw a lot of fastballs and get strikeouts. But with Yamamoto, as you can see here, three strikeouts and three innings. That's pretty good. That's 1K per night. Three hits. A guy like Yamamoto is going to let up singles. He's going to let up contact because you're pitching the contact, right? That's okay. The key is limiting home runs. His fastball is not fast enough to completely blow people away all the time. If you throw a lot of fastballs with him, you're going to let up homers. If you mix it in every once in a while, in good spots, in corners, especially up and in, you're going to be okay. YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this first how-to pitch with video. Listen, it's a work in progress. We're going to get better at it as it goes along. In the comments, let me know what you thought of this format. If you thought it was valuable, if there's anything I can add to it to make it even better, and especially let me know which pitchers you want to see next. My hope for this is that I can do one a week, maybe sometimes two, depending on how I'm feeling, uh, and we'll see how they perform, right? Let's have some fun. Let's learn together. Let's make good content, and let's win games. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.